in this presentation i will just take one bank nifty option strategy so in youtube we are going on giving many option strategies just to make you aware that there is a definite principle to make money in the option strategy so there are two components in the option strategy formations one is we are analyzing the trend then based on the trend we are just forming specific strategies and i have also given multiple strategies here and you you can recheck the performance of all strategies here 13th we have given 14th 19th 22nd so these are the strategies are being given and number of days also given how many days we should hold that strategy that videos are being released and every day basis we are just updating that pricing so that you will know that how much profit or loss it has given and all these things we are demonstrating with the help of our option strategy software and same thing i am going to do today so i am just going for the bank nifty april series 26th april i am going for a 7 days analysis of that so it is telling me if the bank nifty crosses 24600 it has all probability to cross or touch 25600 in between it will find out the hurdles at 24900 to 25000 25 so if that hurdle is crossed then second cycle will be starting from 25200 and third cycle will be starting from 25805 and if this trend fails it will be failing below 24156 Yeah. So if it fall below that, then it has all probability to find a support at twenty three thousand nine eighty one or eight fifty five. If it's broken these two levels, then it can fall may fall to twenty three thousand two thirty eight. This is what the coming seven days trend analysis of Bank Nifty done today on twenty seventh of March for the month of April. for coming 7 days period with the help of our one standard deviation software i am doing it so i will just form a delta neutral strategy anticipating that there is a huge correction already happened so we are just yesterday we have just moved a little bit in the corrective leg we have moved up but once it is moving above specific moving average levels and once it is moving this above this particular levels then we may expect some good swing in the bank nifty so with the hope of that i am just going to form this option strategy so i am going to take the help of my option strategy builder so here what i am doing going to do i am just going to because i am in the first very fast the series is not started so i am very fast leg of the series so i am just going to form a covered put covered put in the sense i will be buying a i am selling a future i will be selling a future one lot and i will be selling a put option so by this process i will be forming a covered put so i sold 24000 put option at 291 i sold future at 24460 and i am buying 25000 call option four lots four lots so this number of lots i have increased to keep the net delta little positive so by this process how much i have paid so four lots means 820 rupees i am paying in in terms of premium i am getting 291 rupees back by selling the premium so here nine so so 9 to 11 so 7 to us 5 so 529 points i am paying to the system so 529 into 40 if we can make it so 21000 21160 i am paying so if the bank nifty corrects corrects as per the one standard deviations principle what you have seen here if it is coming to 24200 or 24000 then the future will start yielding the profit at same time the put option will be yielding the losses and 25000 call option also will be yielding the losses However, theoretical basis, if I can calculate, theoretical basis, I am, if I calculate, if I am thinking that all time value to be zero in the theoretical basis, 
so 460 plus 291 so 600 so near to 705 705 for 6 rupees i will be getting and out of that 820 i have paid so you can say for so 114 points of theoretical losses so 4000 and odd theoretical losses will be there but this won't be theoretical means we are considering all time value to be zero however that all time value cannot be zero in seven days which entire month is there so this is just a theoretical estimation so theoretically thinking this particular strategy having unlimited profit and a loss of maximum 4000 by unlimited profit if it goes up and up you have 25000 call option which is four lots so which can multiply your delta to a great extent so go to the net greek analysis net greek analysis says that we are at 61% of the delta so i have kept it little higher so you can also take three lots but i have kept it little higher considering if there is a uptake then we can get some good money so by this process if i just calculate if currently if it is going to 24650 in the first level then 7000 profit i can get if it is going to 800 900 even 25000 my profit will be phenomenal it is going on increasing to a great level if it fall if it fall back then at 24000 level i am having 5 to 6000 losses and this losses is reducing once i am coming down and down maximum 4000 so losses parameter if i can calculate from 3700 to 6000 this is the range my losses is that you have to keep in mind if the losses comes to this zone maximum trajectory zone better to quit the trade and come out and this trade we are going to hold it for seven days so while forming any option strategy you have a time horizon great risk reward if you are going for only fast target also then also you have one is to two risk reward ratio if you are going to second or third you have a very great very very big risk reward ratio however your losses is being limited to the extent of 6000 to 4000 depending on the zone what you are achieving on the seventh day so maximum seven days you are holding means you should not hold beyond seven seven days so here calendar days i am taking and coming seven days period we are expecting this thing if there is a raise round nature then doesn't move beyond twenty five thousand, then you can say that your liability may come so you just trace this particular level if your liability comes to the higher zone 6500 zone better to quit the trade so for initiating this particular strategy you require near to 80000 rupees margin and you require some 21000 rupees of fund so this much of money you require just to hold buy four lots and selling one lot the balance money you have to pay and if you are going to hold this trade for the second target or third target level so you have to just calculate 24400 level to 25000 plus so for 600 points another 20 to 21000 24000 of m2m also you are required to hold this trade till the profitable point so this particular strategy we are taking in the very first leg of the trading cycle seven trading days i am allotting for that and we will be holding for this seven trading days and we will see how it is going to reward us and whenever it goes for a greater triggering of our liability part we have to come out from this strategy so keep following this strategy and give your feedback if any so if you are viewing this particular strategy on youtube try to share with your friends and follow us in the YouTubes by subscribing this channel so that whenever any strategy uploaded you'll be informed about that and we are just running a good offer for this good Friday all our courses and softwares which used to be available at a regular discount of 17,500 
is currently available at 15,500 plus 660 at the GST. So if you wish to avail this particular offer, if you wish to avail this particular offer, then call to our sales numbers here or else directly go to the product link in the first link itself you will get the details by clicking here also you can subscribe it. so this particular strategy what i have told it has a great risk reward ratio and i have kept the delta to be little higher just to get some higher profit in case there is a bounce back in case there is a again reversal of the trend from this level or consolidation Yes, we need to land in losses and this once the maximum loss triggers or the time horizon crosses, then we have to come out of this strategy. Keep following this strategy and if not the trade, at least paper trade and experience this strategy. And another aspect of this strategy is whenever we have formed this particular strategy, during the profit cycle, I am making the theta stable, the time value is stable, 44 to 45%. And here too, whenever liability stays, your theta is in the incremented order. So incremented order, so means volatility increases. So theta stable in the profit time, theta increases in the liability time. So that, that says that you will have lesser losses and higher profits in case of a trend breakout happens. So keep following this particular strategy and give your feedback if any by writing us on email or you can put the YouTube comments so that we can explain you more. Thank you very much.